Hey guys, Personal Defense uh, here with uh, one of the coolest weapons I think that I've had uh, a a uh, chance to review: the Caltech Sub 2000, chambered in the 40 caliber. So some of you who have never seen this this gun before might be thinking, what the hell is this thing? Uh, as I said, this is the Caltech Sub 2000. This is a uh, pist pistol caliber carbine, and um, it does not come with this grip. I actually borrowed this gun from a friend, and I've had it for a long time, and I felt bad about it. So I went ahead and bought one of these Hogue uh, sleeves, put it on the grip there. Here you see it in its folded form. Uh, and I think this is really cool. It, you know, you could throw this in your backpack. You could, you know, toss it under your seat. Uh, there's a lot of places where you could stash this gun like this. And, um, you know, it's just cool. Have you ever seen anything like this? As I said, uh, I have the bolt lock back, as you can see here, just to, uh, do a safety check kind of thing. Um nothing in there the magazines out and you can see the barrel right there so there's obviously nothing chambered so um i just love it in its folded form i think it's so cool so what you do to unfold it is there's a little uh lever right here in the stock right there and right here so what you do is you kind of pull that push it forward like that and it becomes loose and then it unfolds and locks into place there, just like that. So then what you have is a really thin and really light pistol caliber carbine. Caltech makes several different ones uh, that take different types of magazines. This particular one takes a Glock magazine and it is a 40 caliber. So, you know, you can use a traditional full-size Glock magazines, or you could get one of the 30-round Glock magazines, which I think uh, my friend who I borrowed this from has. One of the things that's not that great about this is the, uh, the ergonomics when you're holding it up to your cheek. This thing is not... This buffer tube, I guess is what you would call it, is not that comfortable against your cheek. Uh, luckily, it's light enough that the recoil isn't that bad so I don't know what you would be dealing with if this was like a heavy caliber or you know some sort of a big rifle this is I guess is what you would call the uh, charging handle so the way this works is it sits like that there you can kinda of see the bolt in there so the way you charge it is you put your magazine in and you pull this back like that it's not the uh, most smooth setup, but you know that's typical for Keltec. They're not; they're kind of a little cumbersome and flimsy, from my experience. And if you want to lock the bolt open, there's a little groove here that you kind of twist it into, and it locks the bolt open. Uh, I'm not sure, but I, I would imagine that the bolt will lock open when your magazine is empty. I guess I f I'll find out when I shoot it tomorrow. The hand guards are nice up front. You can switch these out for a Picatinny style um, four-sided rail and you can start mounting stuff to it. Uh, but I do believe when you when you do that, it's not able to be folded. So if you want to keep it in its folded um, easily, uh, you know, very portable form factor, you have to keep these hand guards on it. The front sight is uh, hideous. I mean, the sights just in general, it's kind of like a little peeper sight in the back with a, um, I don't even think it's a fiber optic in the front there. It is uh, orange though. So, But I mean, really the effective range of this, I don't think it's effective any farther out than about 100 yards maybe. And, you know, this is meant for cor close quarters combat type thing. So... 
the site I, this for you know for what it is the sites work so I'm just gonna read some quick specs about the uh, sub 2000 it has an effective range of over a hundred meters and supposedly at distances closer than 50 meters the nine millimeter bullet approaches a muzzle velocity of a 357 magnum at 200 meters it's more like a 380 ACP uh, it weighs four pounds unloaded as I mentioned it's a uh, real thin real light uh, something that's really interesting is this was actually produced started being produced in 2001 and um, I don't know if it just you don't really see much of them around so I don't know if it just didn't catch on or um, I don't know I mean it's pretty cool but it's just like a a fun gun uh, they only make them in 9mm M40 caliber uh, it's a blowback operated and it'll take Glock, Beretta and Smith & Wesson magazines and it has iron sights I don't know if you can replace the sights or not I'm not real sure um, pistol, pistol caliber carbine it's a grip fed from a uh, magazine semi-automatic and uh, it's distinguishing characteristic other than it being extremely light and thin is that it folds in half it's kind of lame Keltec sub 2000 40 caliber you're not even filming I am I'm not impressed with it I don't like it I really don't like it. You're not even filming, are you? I'm not anymore. I was. I was getting some good close-ups. Do you want to shoot this at all anymore? You count. Okay. You got another one. Oh, got another one. Hmm. That is the endless Glock mag, apparently. Oh, never mind. That's it. That sucks, it doesn't hold the bolt open when it's empty. It's empty. For what this is, I think uh, the price that you're going to pay on it, which is about, depending on where you get it, uh, I think my friend bought this one for 3 15 out the door with a magazine. And... I mean, I think that's pretty good for what you're getting. You're getting a pistol caliber carbine that folds in half and is really cool. I found the magazine. I thought I lost it, and I'm kind of glad that I found it. But, you know, it's just your regular old Glock uh, 40 caliber pistol magazine. I'm going to go ahead and try and show you on camera here how to fold this up. Hopefully, I don't knock anything off here. So when you have it in its extended form like this, all you do is you pull out on the trigger guard here. You see how that pulls out? Pull out on that, and then it just folds up. Now, a couple interesting things about this. In the manual, it says not to fold it like this if there's a round chambered, because you, could, you run the possibility of uh, breaking the bolt. Uh, I guess I guess that makes sense and also it says that if you have the um, buffer spring out and you fire it without the buffer or you you know you fire it or dry fire it I don't remember what it was uh, you ruin the gun it it's not repairable if you do something like that so uh, and it's it's real particular about the way you strip it down the way you handle it so that, that that's just kind of interesting how it I mean it just doesn't seem like it would be very durable to me but like I said my, my experience with Caltech hasn't been that great although this is a cool gun but I just I, that polymer is just really not the best so another thing I'm going shooting tomorrow 
with this gun and um, I really wish I would have it after I take the shooting but when I'm done shooting it tomorrow I have to uh, give it back to my friend so I may be doing a lot of talking tomorrow out at the range about my thoughts on uh, shooting this and the ergonomics I can already tell from you know I've held it up to my cheek and everything I can already tell the ergonomics on this suck and I don't think it's gonna be a big deal I don't think it's gonna be painful or anything but um, like I said you know for what you're spending the money on you're pretty much getting what you're paying for and I know there's a lot of Keltec fans out there I I think this gun is cool but I just don't really see I mean there's not really a way you can justify it you can't really hunt with it um, I guess you could use it for home defense you can't really I mean it's not really effective outside of a hundred yards so it, you know, it'd be close quarters like I said it's just pretty much a basic basically a fun gun and um, fortunately you don't have to pay that much for it I'm not impressed with it I don't like it I filming? I think you got maybe one shot. <laughs> Make it count. Okay. You got another one. Oh, got another one. That is the endless block mag, apparently. Oh, never mind. That sucks. It doesn't hold the bolt open when it's empty. Okay, I'm just going to go over some of the features of it real quick. Uh, here's that lever like I said to take it down when it's folded and um, I think you can remove this stock by pulling those they have like a little uh, retainer C retainer. I don't remember what you call those but I think you can pull the stock off and take the, the uh, spring out I'm not sure how to field strip this like I said this is the what I would call the charging handle uh, magazine well this does not come with this hogue grip this is something I, I put on but you can see it's got some um, checkering on on the grip, and this is pretty typical uh, Keltec checkering. That P11 I had had this type of checkering, and uh, I think that's pretty typical for Keltec. This is the safety right here. It's a uh, push button style. Push it there. Red mean ready to fire. Um, here's where it breaks. The hinge I guess is right here and the uh, foregrips and the sights like I, I pointed out earlier. The uh, barrel is steel, 4130 steel, and it has a spring-loaded collar to ensure that it uh, locks between the receiver and the polymer forend, and the um, front sight is fully adjustable. The forend also has uh, an ability to house batteries and or other small devices. The uh, tubular steel stock, which I've been calling the buffer tube, uh, contains the bolt and is ended by the polymer butt stock. Uh, the the two-piece uh, steel bolt holds the firing pin, the extractor, and has the operating handle on the bottom. So this is actually part of the bolt, all right here. So the pistol caliber carbine by Keltec called the Sub 2000. I think it's a great little fun gun for the price and I'm sure you can find a use for it nice and light and it also folds up making it very portable thanks for watching